A huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Now come down here, take a look. This is lardy cake and this is lard. Now it's an animal rendered fat rather than a butter. You cannot make this with butter, it has to be lard. And if you don't like lard, you really should give it a try. I used this in my Cuban bread and that was one of the things that excited me about making the Cuban bread, using lard. Now a baker's in the New Forest many years ago used to make this Jennings they were called I think, and they used to fly off the shelf. If you didn't get there by 10 o'clock in the morning, they were completely sold out. So I'm gonna share with you now a wonderful, wonderful lardy cake recipe. Come on, let me show you how. Okay, let's get started by making our bread dough. I've got a pound, 450 grams of strong flour. It has to be a bread flour for this. Uh, we're going to put one tablespoon of our lard into the flour, and then just use the tips of your fingers to rub the lard into the flour. And when you've rubbed that in, we'll take three teaspoons of yeast. I'll put that one side of the bowl and one teaspoon of salt on the other side. Just keep those separate for now. And I've got half a cup of superfine or caster sugar just into the middle. We'll just give that a quick mix through. Then I've got 300 milliliters, that's about 11 fluid ounces of warm water. I'm just gonna pop that into our flour. Take a fork and just get it started. Keep your hands clean. Now as that starts to draw together, we can just pull that off of the fork. Now we need to get our hand in there and start to pull this dough together. Now you're gonna have this fairly wet dough. When it starts to pull away from the side of the bowl like that, we're just going to lay that out onto our surface. I just want to put a bit of flour down onto that surface, probably about a quarter of a cup. So we're just going to stretch this dough out now on a well floured surface for about 10 minutes until it gets a lovely elastic feeling to it. Now this is a very sticky dough and you will find your hands sticking to it, but just be patient. Add a little flour, don't be tempted to overdo the flour, but we want this sticky dough and you will find after a while it'll start to become more silky. There and after 10 minutes you're going to have this sticky but beautiful elastic dough with great tension on it, it springs back. We're now going to take that, add about a tablespoon of vegetable oil back into our bowl, pop the dough in there, coat it in the oil. Then I just want to take some plastic wrap. I'm going to seal all the moisture in the bowl like that, pop it somewhere warm for at least an hour, maybe two, depending on your temperature, until it's doubled in size. Now whilst the dough is rising, we'll take three quarters of a cup of sultanas or raisins, just pop them into a saucepan and some lovely dark currants. I've got half a cup of currants here, just gonna pop that in as well. Now I've got an orange and a lemon and I'm just going to take the zest off, I've got a little zesting tool. I want all the outside zest in here of the orange and of the lemon. Then what we're going to do is cut our lemon and our orange in half and we want all the juice out of there as well. And once we've got the juice from our orange and lemon, we're just gonna pop this onto the heat and we're just gonna bring it up to the boil and then we're gonna leave it to cool down. And that will allow the fruit to absorb those juices. Now I'm gonna bake my lardy cake in an eight inch square tin and I'm gonna use about 100 grams, three and a half ounces of lard, at least that, which I'm just gonna put in the bottom of the tin and I want to completely coat the tin in this lard. Now this doesn't have to be accurate, but we don't want to underdo the lard. It really is an important part of the dish. So that's what I'm looking for. The next thing is we need some sugar in here. Now I'm using caster sugar. I usually eyeball this, but let's put three or four tablespoons into there. And then what I'm gonna do is shake that sugar around and coat the lard in the sugar. Now when you look at that dough, it's risen beautifully. It's a warm day here in Australia. I'm going to just knock some of the air out of that. I'm then gonna lightly flour my worktop or counter. We're gonna lift that dough out onto the counter. And what I want to do is I'm going to ease this out until I've got about a 40 centimeter, 15 inches or so, square or rectangle like that. So I hope you can see the size there. Next, I've got my lard and I've got my softened butter here. It's about 75 grams of each. That's just under three ounces, I think. And it's not an accurate science. You can be rough with this. I'm going to take that lovely soft lard and I'm just going to start to layer it. We don't want to go up to the edge. I want to leave about an inch. We're just going to use the back of a spoon and spread this out across the pastry. And then I'm doing the same with the soft butter. I'm just going to put it on in little lumps 
Now the lard are a lot easier to spread, so the butter can just go on in little dobs. Now you'll remember the fruit here. We don't want all that juice in there, so I'm using a slotted spoon and I'm just going to drain some of the juice off. But I'm going to pop the fruit down in the centre of our lardy cake. I'm using the same spoon, I'm just going to evenly distribute the fruit over the top of the lard and the butter. The last thing to go on here is 100 grams of caster sugar or super fine sugar. It's about half a cup and we just want to evenly sprinkle this over the top of the fruit. Now what we're just doing is folding over the first edge of our lardy cake. Just seal it down like that and then we're going to continue to roll this up and then bring this last edge over and just seal it down. Now this is a beautiful moist bread. We need now to bring our baking tray in here and if you can, we're just going to lift this and I'm going to twist it. If you can see me there twisting, we're being fairly rough with it and I am going to just spiral this around in to my tray like that. And then we just want to put a damp towel over the top of this and leave it somewhere warm until it's puffed up in size. About 20 minutes should do it. Now that has risen beautifully. It's been there for about 20 or 30 minutes and it's perfect. Now I've got my oven heated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 200 degrees Celsius. I'm going to pop that in there for 15 minutes and then I'm going to lower the temperature down to 180 degrees Celsius. That's 350 Fahrenheit. We're going to finish it off for another 15 minutes. And just keep an eye on it. We don't want it to go too brown, but a nice nutty brown. Now look at that lardy cake. That is out of the oven. You can see it bubbling away on the sides there. We want this to settle down because this is not the finished lardy cake. Come back in a moment and I'll show you what it looks like. Now the lardy cake is still pretty hot. I've got my oven gloves on here and we are going to flip this out now. I'm going to pop a plate on there, hold it fairly tightly and then I'm going to flip this over and then we've got the big reveal. Hopefully this is going to come out in one. Yeah, it's a little bit sticky. Might need a little encouragement to come out. But there you are. There is a wonderful sticky lardy cake. And that is the way we would traditionally serve the lardy cake upside down. All the juices flowing, the syrups. This is going to taste fantastic. Now I am so excited to try this. Come and have a look at this. Look how sticky and treacly that is there. And I'm going to cut a piece off while it's still hot and give this a try. Just look at that lardy cake. How sticky and sweet that's going to be. I'm going to try it now. Mm. Mm. My, that is so good. Whether it's hot or cold, lardy cake is just fantastic. Please share the love. Give this one the thumbs up. You should try this. It is delicious. Be good. I'll see you next time. Take care. Mm. Now what I've tried to do is replicate some of the best lardy cakes I've ever had and that is a winner. I love it. It's sticky, it's moist, it's fantastic. Please give it a try. Comments down below. I'll leave a couple of links to some other videos here. Be good. See you next time.